I'm going to actually add two more videos to go along with this game over splash screen because there's a couple of complications that can arise. The first complication is how to actually get it to display properly. And the second complication is what if you want to play again? So you can see here that I've added some, some text that, uh, for code that we haven't written yet, but hopefully we will add uh, that code in the second video. But in the first video right now, I want to talk about how to get this game over screen to appear properly. So let's go to the script. Um, first of all, I'm just going to throw these scripts away and I'm going to copy and paste from the Frogger um, area. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to copy and paste from the um, level up area and it would appear that my Frogger has died is, uh, is not working properly so we'll get that working again and then in the game over area um, I also want a when the green flag is clicked to hide because at the very beginning of the game it shouldn't show up but when I receive a game over then it should appear now what you'll notice right here is that it's sort of not quite centered properly uh, so I did a full screen so when you do a full screen, you know that you should have it go to zero, zero, and then it will cover everything perfectly. Awesome. Okay, so now that it's covering everything, uh, there's a couple of things that I want to show. First, for instance, I want to be able to show how many points the person got at the end of the game. I don't want to cover that up. So, uh, and I may want to show how many levels they got to. So in order to do that, where at the looks, if you go down to the, to the bottom choices that we haven't really got to yet, there is a show and then there's a go to front. And I can even go back one layer. Okay. And once I go back one layer, that gives me the opportunity to put something else on top. Uh, but maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll just leave that off for now. So I'm just going to go to the front and then I'm going to show some variables. So I'm going to show the variable points and I'm also going to show the variable levels okay and then now with the game over I'm not going to wait and I'm not going to hide I'm just going to um, display show go to front and then show the other variables so let's run this uh, I've got the volume muted so I can die once I can die twice I can die a third time and now you can see I got to level one, uh, my points are at negative 90, and I've got this game over screen, and it's just sitting waiting. So now we should start building just a, a little bit of code to go with it. And the other thing that's kind of odd is you'll notice these cars are still changing because the game is actually still happening behind the game over screen. So let's make that stop. So first of all, uh, after we show this variable, let's click stop all. So we'll just do that really quickly and now the vehicles will stop changing color. So now there's nothing else going on hiding behind or behind the scenes. It would just kind of odd. Uh, the next thing we want to do is can we set it so that after we've stopped all the scripts that if somebody clicks on the screen, so click like that or press the space bar like this, uh, that it will come back to life to play again. So let's go to our events tab and see what choices we have. We do have uh, when the space is key is pressed we have that and we also have when this sprite is clicked so both of those will do exactly what it is that we're hoping to do and so the first thing that we'll want to do is we will want uh, the space key to hide the game over script and so let's just try that out so I'm just gonna press the space bar and it's gone and instead of uh, going through all that again I'm just gonna bring it back okay and I can also when this sprite is clicked hide so I click on it and it's gone so I'll just bring it back all right so so now we've got the basic functionality and we need to add another broadcast uh, so and this broadcast is not going to be uh, any of the ones that we have so far it's going to be a broadcast for a new game Okay, and so I know I also need that in this situation. So I, I've given two different ways. Uh, most times when you play a game, they only give you two choices or one choice, sorry. So you either click here or press spacebar. I'm giving them both. Uh, so if you only want to do one of these, then just throw that away. Now the question is what happens with this new game broadcast? And that's a whole nother uh, huge issue to deal with. So I'm going to stop this video now. 
and we'll just deal with the new game broadcast in the next video.